In this video, we are going to solve two problems from RC Impeller Engineering Statics 12th edition. So our first problem is problem 4-4. According to this problem, we have two forces exerted by two men and we have to determine the movement of each force about point A and then we have to decide that the force will rotate in, in which sense, clockwise or counterclockwise. So to solve this problem, first of all I have to resolve these two forces into their components. So for each of the force I have two components. For force P I have one horizontal component and one vertical component. Let's label them. This angle is 45 from the horizontal. So this angle is also 45 degrees. Let's call this component P cos 45 and this vertical component is P sin 45. Similarly, I have two components for the force F, one horizontal component and one vertical component. Let's label them two. So this component is F four over five, and this vertical component is four three over five. Now if we have to determine the moment of each force about point A for force F. Movement of force F about point A. So if I look at the figure, then the force F is trying to look, is trying to rotate the pole clockwise. So I am taking clockwise movement as positive is equal to now which component is responsible for the rotation? So if we look at the figure, then the vertical component is passing through the pivot point, which is point A. So it has no moment arm. So the component responsible for the movement here is the horizontal component. So we have F 4 over 5. Then we need the moment arm, which is 12 feet, perpendicular distance from the line of action of force. So it is 12. Our answer is 768. LP fit and for the force P movement of force P about point A now point P is trying to rotate the pole anti-clockwise or counterclockwise so in this direction so I am taking counterclockwise direction as positive Similarly, the same technique, the vertical component is passing through the pivot point, so it has no movement arm, but the horizontal component has movement arm. So we have P cos 45 degrees. I forgot to mention here that F is given, which is 80 LB. Similarly, P is 50 LB. The moment arm is 6 plus 12, 18. So our answer is 636 LB fit. Now, for the last part of the question, which way will the pole rotate clockwise or counterclockwise? So if we look at the individual moments, then movement of force F about point A is greater than movement of force P about point A. So the pole will rotate in the direction of the movement A because it is more dominant. So the pole will rotate in the direction of 
मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स E एट A एंड दैट सेंस ऑफ मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स F इज क्लॉक वाइज सो द पोल विल रोटेट क्लॉक वाइज दिस इज द आंसर टू द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम For the second problem, if I erase all this, according to the second problem, four dash five, we have given the force P, and then we have to determine the magnitude of force F. This is unknown. right now and uh, the resultant moment about point a of both forces should be zero so our condition is that resultant moment about point a is zero now you can take either clockwise moment as positive or counter clockwise moment as positive i am taking clockwise moment as positive so it is plus then we have the horizontal components trying to rotate the pole so i have this component is trying to rotate it in the clockwise sense so it is positive the moment down is 12 now this component is trying to rotate it counter clockwise so it is negative and the moment arm is 18 according to given condition the moment is zero resultant moment is zero so it is equal to zero here p is equal to 30 as b so if i substitute the values then f 4 over 5 into 12 is equal to 30 cos 45 into 18 f is equal to 39.8 lb now this is the answer to the second problem i hope you will find both of the solutions useful i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please don't forget to subscribe this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates thank you